where the greatest concentration of infections is in the northeast. Popular tourist areas in the south and the Canaries and the Balearic Islands are reporting relatively low infection rates. Our Europe correspondent Gavin Lee reports from Barcelona. Sun, sea and social distancing on the Golden Coast, the Costa Dorada. There's more room on the beach now here in the town of Salou. Locals say most of the tourists have stayed away from the worst affected region in Spain. And it's left those whose livelihoods depend on tourism fighting for survival. It's a cabaret life for Rodney Piper, a club owner and magician who employs a hundred staff. Right now, there's only enough work for eight. House of Illusion is not just my life, but it's all my family's life. It's all my workers' life. It's everyone who not only lives here, is now lost their jobs. We can't survive with this. It's an absolute nightmare. It's everyone who not only lives here, is now lost their jobs. We can't survive with this. It's an absolute nightmare. At Chantilly Spa, Helen and her friend Julie have come here for a week in the sun after they thought it was safe to travel. Back home, Helen runs a pub in Wigan and says quarantine means more money lost. When we get home, we're going to have to quarantine. So, although we've already lost. When we get home, we're going to have to quarantine. So, although we've already lost a lot over the last three to four months being locked down, when I get home, I'm going to have to quarantine for 14 days. And there's not that I can do. And there's not that I can do. Away from the beach, Barcelona is Spain's most visited city and authorities are sending out two messages to locals to minimise contact outside, to wear a mask in public and to tourists to come here to enjoy themselves that they have the situation under control. That they have the situation under control. But on the city's main boulevard, Las Ramblas bears little resemblance to the hustle and bustle of summers gone by. Sergio has been running his newsstand for over 20 years. Even the day after the terror attack, there were 30 times more people than today. Even the day after the terror attack, there were 30 times more people than today. And now the quarantine imposed again in Britain is making a bad situation worse. It's making a bad situation worse. The UK government is making clear its citizens shouldn't be here unless it's essential. But for Spain, this is an unnecessary kick when the country is already struggling to get to its feet. Next to the uproar in France, where the government has announced it's banning cafes and restaurants from using outdoor heaters because they're so bad for the environment. Paul Hawkins has more. The famous outdoor Parisian cafe culture. All year round, it's what France is known for, thanks to outdoor heaters. But this is set to change because the government says they're bad for the environment. We will also ban outdoor heating in public spaces and restaurant terraces and require the closing of doors of all heated or air-conditioned buildings that are open to the public. Environmental groups say France has at least 12,500 heated terraces. One of those groups has even calculated that a 75 metred square terrace heated with gas for five months emits as much carbon dioxide as a car circling the earth three times. Emits as much carbon dioxide as a car circling the earth three times. A few French cities have already banned heaters, but the mayor of Paris refused to do so because of the impact on businesses. Despite that, some people think it's a good idea. Look, I go to terraces which aren't heated. Heat has appeared and it was amazing progress, but everybody knows we don't really need it. I stay warm with a little jacket or with something that's sufficiently warm to stay out on the terraces, drinking an aperitif or a coffee. I don't need a heater. And that's the government's point. The debate over heaters is a lot of hot air, they say. Wear a jacket, we use a blanket instead. 